Good day everyone, this is just something I put together on the weekend, um, I've been meaning to make something like this for a while, um, it's just a second set of helping hands, um, I'm just going to show you how I did it and I also um, added something a bit extra on there too that I thought would be, um, would be handy which is a component tester. So I've got some heavy duty helping hands and, um, and I use them all the time and I'm still going to use those um, but sometimes um, if I just want a quick way of holding something, um, these little flexible ones can be handy. Basically how I put it together was, uh, obviously you got the alligator clip on the end, and then that goes to a piece of this wire, which I've just sort of folded back on itself like that. Uh, a bit neater job than that, but you get the idea. And I just filled up um, the middle with some, some solder to give it some extra strength. And it, it seems pretty durable so far, I haven't had any issues with it, um, uh, it seems pretty good. So. Um, yeah, that just goes down onto the Vero, this Vero board, which I've actually drilled a couple of holes in and put screws through onto the, um, onto the wood. And yeah, I've, I've just soldered that on, um, the, the wire with the solder. I've soldered that onto the Vero board because I thought it could be a good idea to give it a bit of extra functionality to, um, put a little component tester thing on, on here as well. And I'll just show you how that works. So the idea of the component tester part of this thing is that um, it's supposed to be a quick way of testing components. Uh, basically, you just connect your probes from your multimeter um, to the alligator clips like that. And then um, you just, uh, like as you're putting a board together when you're testing the components, you can just leave this um, off the side of your desk or whatever and um, leave your multimeter on. Then you just sort of hold down the component like that and it'll tell you what the, um, what the measurement is, which in this case is um, a one meg resistor. I would probably rebuild that. The way I've done mine is um, I've used sockets and um, I've got a piece of that wire again and I've just put these little sort of brackets out to the side so that you can hold it, you know, you can hold it across like that. Um, and it will also fit um, capacitors as well uh, easily. Um, but I'd use, I've seen, I've seen before, I don't know, I haven't seen where you can buy them from, but you can get these um, actual uh, component um, tester, test uh uh, terminals, I guess you'd call them, and they just you can just hold the um, you can just push the resistor onto it, and it's, it's it'll be much easier to make contact than what I've got here, um, and it'll probably make it um, uh, uh, make it to function better. So that's it, just um, something I put together this weekend. Um, pretty simple to, to build, only took me sort of half an hour, and um, uh, didn't cost me anything either because it's just bits and pieces that I've got lying around. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll um, it'll be useful for me uh, in the future. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.